All right guys, so today on Beer Geek Nation, I wanted to do a bit of an editorial, a beer editorial. Um, about two weeks ago, Jim Cook of uh, Boston Beer, um, you know, Sam, found, Sam Adams, uh, the founder of Sam Adams, came out with an article. He was interviewed in Esquire magazine, um, and he kind of gave his secret about how he drinks and doesn't get drunk. I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but it's all over the internet. Um, so I wanted to address it and talk about it. Uh, basically what he said, he takes active yeast like Fleischmann's dry yeast, he mixes it into yogurt and eats it before he drinks and his, uh, I guess, proportion is one teaspoon, one teaspoon per beer right before you start drinking will make you almost invincible to getting drunk, which has kept Cook's beer consumption in check. Um, and the yogurt, he says, it makes it more palatable to eat because I couldn't imagine that tastes so great just taking teaspoons of it. Now, where did he get this? Uh, a longtime friend of his and kind of a craft beer legend is Joseph Awadis, I believe. Um, and he said Awadis knew about active dry yeast containing an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase, a.k.a. ADH, which breaks down alcohol into its constituent parts of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Um, this is basically what happens. This is what your liver does. So, with when you're eating this, when you're eating this uh, active yeast, you're basically forming a mini chemical liver in your stomach. So the alcohol is breaking down in your stomach before it even gets to your, uh, before it even gets to your liver. So it's you know, breaking apart you know way before um, it ever actually would. So. Now, he goes on to say, Jim Cook goes on to say, it will mitigate, not eliminate, eliminate, but mitigate the effects of alcohol. So alcohol affects everyone differently. Our, you know, all our physiologies are, are different. Our metabolism rates are different. Our body chemistries are all different. So, you know, in theory, it seems like it should work. Um, I, I definitely could see why it would work. I have never actually tried it. If you guys have tried it, definitely comment in the section below. It's one of those things I saw it. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should give it a shot. But then I went on to look more into it because um, I'm like, that can't be good ingesting that yeast. I, I work in the medical field and just hearing that, I'm like, man, that doesn't sound like it's something you should be doing. Uh, if that were something your body wanted to be done with alcohol, it'd probably have some mechanism of already doing it. I mean, call me crazy. So looked into it. And, I, and indeed, there are some side effects. Uh, side effects of the consumption of active drive yeast. When ADH breaks down the alcohol, toxic byproducts are created, which is what causes us to feel the hangover uh, the next morning after heavy drinking. ADH, ADH metabolizes alcohol to acetylhyde, which is um, actually in a lot of homebrew. It's that green apple flavor. Um, so if you ever have a homebrew with a lot of that green apple flavor, it's going to give you a massive hangover. I guarantee it. Uh, and acetylhyde is one of the highly toxic byproducts that is known as, it's also known as a carcinogen, which I actually didn't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, that's from the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism. Uh, it is then even further metabolized down to another less active byproduct called acetate. Uh, this is then broken down into water and carbon dioxide for easy elimination. Uh, consuming yeast adds extra ADH into the body system and can therefore possibly lead to making your hangovers even worse, even if you stay sober. So that sounds like a big pain in the ass to me, if you ask me. Um, who wants a hangover uh, without, you know, it's, it's, I hate hangovers. They're the worst. I absolutely hate hangovers. Um, my trick, if you want to know, is I just drink a ton of water. For every you know beer I have, I'll drink a glass or two of water. If I know it's you know I'm at a beer fest or whatever, that seems to work for me. Um, so with that said, what do you guys think about this? You know, have you tried the active yeast? Have you tried the active yeast in yogurt? Does it help? There's really, I think a lot of this might also have to do with some placebo effect as well. I think if you're doing this, um, the placebo, placebo effect is going to kick in and maybe mentally, you know, you're kind of setting yourself up to stay a little bit more sober. I don't know. It just seems like there's a little bit of hoodoo, voodoo going on here. Um, the chemistry there is there, sure. But again, each person reacts differently to alcohol, metabolize differently, uh, alcohol differently. And, you know, the physiology is all different. So it, I'd be curious to see. I mean, I could see, I'd love to see like Mythbusters do something on this where they set up you know, because to test this, you'd really have to like wake up, um, do the exact same thing, like do like 20 minutes exercise, have such a, have like a piece of toast and a beer. 
um, without doing the yeast and have like five beers and then do the next same thing and then like try to fill out a questionnaire or do a puzzle or something. So it's scientifically to do this, it'd be really hard um, and you need somebody like, you know, the Mythbusters or somebody like that who can really sit down and figure out how to do it. So with that said, what do you guys think? Have you tried it again? Comment in the section below. I just thought it was, you know, pretty interesting uh, that he would put that out there. And it is interesting. I mean, the chemistry does seem to work and it seems to come from a credible source. So who knows? Yep. But, you know, if you've tried it, let me know. With that said, folks, remember life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.